Public education. Make some noise. You showed up. That was big. So I'm asking you, how many of you willing to stand up for our children? Stand up for our children. And this is the hard one. It's not enough to stand up. You got to speak out against the corporate move in private and public education to privatize it. You got to speak up. Let me tell you what's happening. Whenever you have money, listen to me, money. You have a $700 billion industry, Wall Street and private America will say, I want some of that. But let me tell you what's wrong with that. Our children are actually the ones who are being sacrificed. That's not acceptable, folks. We can't allow that. We can't allow us to continue to underfund public education. Not in Milwaukee, not in Wisconsin, not in Fond du Lac. You can't accept that. Our children are the best investment that this America has to offer. Do you believe that? Yeah. Say yes. If you believe that, wave your sign. My good colleague is here from Sherwood. His name is Marty Lexman. And he's going to actually launch the march. So Marty, welcome back to Milwaukee. Thank you, Dr. Thornton. Uh, we are so thrilled to be a part of this today. If you're from Milwaukee Public Schools, make some noise. If you're from any other school district across the state of Wisconsin, make some noise. That's the story of today. There's another story today. This is the story about parents and kids and teachers and school board members and superintendents and custodians and secretaries marching shoulder to shoulder because we have one mission. We're the schools with the privilege and the responsibility of educating all of the public's children. And in particular, to serve those kids who need their public schools the most. Thank you for being a part of this day. Let's have an amazing march. Tell me a little bit about what's happening today. Oh, this is a march for civil rights and education, absolutely. We need to march to protect democracy, to make sure that we have democracy that works for everybody, not just for a few people. Okay? And so this march is an expression of people from the bottom up, telling the people who make policies and decisions that we need to invest in public education, not the invest in public education and put the resources into privatization that's not really democratic. Doctora Tatiana Joseph y soy una de las directoras de la mesa directiva de MPS. So quality education is in danger because of many things. Funding, for example, the lack of respect for teachers, families, and communities, and the favoritism given to private schools will eventually destroy our system of public education. But enough is enough. Now more than ever, we need to demand more from one another. We need to be critical and to ask questions about the way our children and schools are evaluated. We need to be weary of corporate reformists and politicians whose agenda is to destroy public education. Now more than ever, your support is very important. Only together can we destroy the ideology created to divide and conquer our system of public education. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you so much. So when we stand together, 
No task cannot be done The way we stand together There's no fight that cannot be won Cause when we stand together We are union We are power Thank you We are one Which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on? Just say yes to MPS. Just say yes. Escucha. Escucha. Estamos en la lucha. Escucha. Escucha. Estamos en la lucha. Love you, love you. Good afternoon. My name is Tony Ramirez. My pronouns are he, him, his. I'm a student at Horlick High School in Racine, and I'm a proud member of Youth Empower the Struggle. Yes, this is a youth arm of Voce de la Frontera. We have 17 high schools and three college chapters in Racine and Milwaukee. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Teresita Becerra. Yo soy estudiante en Ronald Reagan College Preparatory High School. Yes, es la rama estudiantil de Voces de la Frontera. Tenemos 17 capítulos en preparatorias y tres en universidades en Milwaukee y Racine. As students, we are proud to join the MTEA, REA, and the educators that represent parents and the community in support of public education. We learn in a very difficult environment. Our schools are overcrowded and underfunded. Governor Walker has cut over a billion dollars for public education at the same time, giving private school tuition increases. This has meant increased class size and the elimination of some electives. This cannot and will not be tolerated. Our Governor Scott Walker and last Act 10, a bill that limits teachers' ability to collective bargaining. This bill strips teachers of their rights. Teachers on a daily fight for our rights. The right for reasonable class size and the right for a good learning environment. Teachers working conditions are our learning conditions. The, the assault on teachers cannot and will not be tolerated. Will we tolerate the elimination of teachers' right to collective bargain? Youth Empower in the Struggle stands with you. We are part of you and together we will take back what is our right. The right to a quality 21st century public education that respects teachers, students, and the community. Education Association, the largest labor union in the United States of America. I'm here today to say to you that the NEA is here to stand with the people of Milwaukee. Let me tell you what's at stake, ladies and gentlemen, and why this struggle has got to continue and that this is just the beginning. There is a deliberate effort to replace public education yes. with a privately managed free market system of schooling. 
and Ground Zero is right here in Milwaukee. Yeah. Our beloved public education system is in jeopardy, and if the community doesn't stand up with the educators that work in it, with the other labor unions and community groups and other organizations to protect it, they will systematically dismantle it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude with this. We have to dig really deep. We have to dig deep in terms of our commitment to this fight. Because this fight is happening across the country. It is happening in Chicago. It is happening in Philadelphia. It is happening in New Orleans, Louisiana. It is happening in Los Angeles. There is an effort to do everything they can to privatize and corporatize public education to suck as much money out of it as they possibly can. And they want to ensure that it is fundamentally gone and that the unions associated with the public education system are gone. This is fundamentally the place where the battle is going to get joined around whether or not we will maintain as a public trust, a sacred public trust in this country, public education. So let me say to all of you all, thank you so much. Stand strong, fight hard, and raise your hand, everybody. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Thank you very much. Is anybody tired? Say no. No. Who ready for change? Say yeah. yeah. Say education. Education. Is a civil right. It's a civil right. Education. Education. Is a human right. It's a human right. Education. Education. Is a divine right. It's a divine right. And we will do everything. We will do everything. In our power. In our power. To fight for the rights. Children. Clap your hands and make some noise.